بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس می سمیرا سلیم یو ار واچنگ دی سی ٹی وی یو ایس اے لیٹس سی واٹس ہیپننگ ان دی ورلڈ President Joe Biden is giving remarks on the administration's effort to reduce health care costs and strengthen Medicare and Social Security. Well, Bob, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for that introduction. Bob didn't tell you one of the most important criteria he had to be here, in addition to being a fighter, was he had uh, two daughters-in-law and a son who went to the University of Delaware. Uh, <laughs> Well, look, folks, uh, a lot of us, and I look around the room here, from Joe Crowley and others who are no longer, we've been waiting for this day for a long time, a long, long time. We got, it's going to take a little while for some of this to kick in, but it's locked in. It's locked in. And uh, I want to thank everyone who's here, including my secretaries and my cabinet members, and uh, for the relentless, have relentlessly worked to protect Medicare. But before turning the topic I want to discuss today, I hope you'll indulge me. I want to talk a little bit about the people, the crisis people are facing in Florida right now. Hurricane Ian uh, made landfall in Cuba this morning as a Category 3 storm. Florida is now preparing for the hurricane to make landfall. Forecasts can change, but for now the experts say this could be a very severe hurricane, life-threatening and devastating in its impact. So I want to be clear about two main messages. First, my administration is on alert and in action to help the people of Florida. I've approved Florida's request for emergency assistance immediately upon receiving it from the governor when they received it. And I directed my team to surge federal assistance there before the storm hit. FEMA has already deployed 700 personnel to Florida, and the governor has activated 5,000 state National Guard with another 2,000 guards coming from other states. FEMA is also proposing and prepositioning 3.5 million. Protesters are marching throughout the street of Mexico City to mark the 8th anniversary of the 2014 disappearance of 43 students. Last week, a retired journal and three other people were tasked to Mexican army were arrested in connection to the case. <laughs> U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken rejected the Indian objection regarding to supply of arms of Pakistan and gave the Indian Foreign Minister a hard time. While holding a press conference with the Indian Foreign Minister, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken clarified that the program of F-16 aircraft given to Pakistan is not new but has seen for a long time. The U.S. Secretary of State made it clear that Pakistan is not being supplied with new aircraft, new system or a new weapon. He said that the $450 million deal approved for Pakistan is for the maintenance of already delivered aircraft so that the aircraft that Pakistan has cannot be maintained. U.S. rejected Indian objection to army supply to Pakistan. A Spanish court on Tuesday formally ordered Colombian superstar Shakira to stand trial on accusation that she failed to pay 
14.5 million euros in income tax, a court documents released on Tuesday show. Prime Minister Shibash Sharif said about the leaked audio that the daughter Maryam Nawaz Sharif did not ask me for any recommendation regarding our son-in-law Rahil. Dr. Thakil told me that the half of the machinery of these sugar mills was imported from India during the PTI period. Maryam Nawaz Sahiba Bhati ne mujhe kisi safarish ka nika na koi favor ka kaha bilkul. ये बात जरा अब हो रही है तो जरा मेहरबानी करके तो जो जो सुने उन्होंने कतान मुझे किसी यानी वो राहिल जो उनका दामाद है हमारा दामाद है उनकी ना कोई सफारिश की ना कोई उन्होंने फेवर मांगी मुझसे डॉक्टर ताकीर ने मुझसे बात की कि जी इनकी जो मशीनरी है शुगर मिल की आदि वो हिंदुस्तान से वो इंपोर्ट की है पीटीआई के दौर में ये मेरे दौर में इंपोर्ट नहीं हुई हमें तो आए अभी जुमा जुमा आठ दिन हुए हैं तो ये उस पीटीआई के दौर में ये आदि मशीनरी इंपोर्ट की गई अब मुझे बताएं आप आप सब बैठे हैं मैं एक सवाल आपसे कर रहा हूँ कि आपने एक आदि मशीनरी एक मुल्क से मंगा ली हो अरबों रुपये खर्च कर ली हो मुझे नहीं पता बैंकों से कितना लोन लिया उनकी अपनी इक्विटी कितनी है वो तो खुद बताएंगे तो बाकी मशीनें रह गई हो तो कितना नुकसान है तो उन्होंने उसके तनाजर में ये अपने एप्लीकेशन दी डॉक्टर तोकीर ने मुझसे बात की और डॉक्टर तोकीर ने मुझे कहा कि जी ये चूंकि बैन हो चुका है तो ये बात जाएगी ये एसीसी में और फिर इकोनॉमिक कोऑर्डिनेशन कमेटी जिसके ऊपर कैबिनेट में जाएगी और बिल्कुल यही तरीका है तो मैंने हमने मशवरा किया कि ये अपना देखे ना अगर मुझे इजाज़त देनी होती तो बस सबके जिम करते हिंदुस्तान के साथ मामला था हिंदुस्तान जो है वो अपना पाँच अगस्त का जो मामला 2019 का वो जो हिंदियों के साथ जो उसने जुल्म किया है और जो दिन रात वहाँ पर शहीद होते हैं तो ये कोई को आसान बात नहीं थी तो हम इसको कैबिनेट में लेके जा सकते थे ए की अप्रूवल के बाद ले जा सकते थे तो हमने इसको मुनासब नहीं समझा कि हम इसको लेके जाएं और हमने कहा कि मैं मैंने कहा कि मैं अपनी बेटी को मैं खुद मैं बता दूंगा बता दूंगा मैं डॉक्टर साहब को मैंने कहा कि आप भी बता दें तो बताइए इसमें इसमें क्या गलत बात है In the 48th marathon race of Berlin, the capital of Germany, where more than 45,000 athletes from all over the world participated, more than a dozen Pakistani also participated in that race. That's all for now. Keep watching the CTV USA. Log into our website, thecityvusa.com.